Hey there, Paul. Uh oh, I forgot my light here. I gotta get my light. Shit. All right, hang on there. Let me get, the, get some light here. All right, we got some light. Okay, I'm back. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tune some broadheads here. What I'm gonna do here first is you make sure you take your your arrows. And these are new arrows, all right. And taking rotate rotate your knot wherever you want it to be, all right. In this particular case, I'm going to have all my I'm going to keep my my cock feather directly out. That's how I want these things shaped. All right. I'll take all my arrows and I'll get my I'll get my knock alignment adjusted just right. Okay. I'll put this away. Uh, after you've got your after you got your arrows here, I take my I got a feel point on this thing right now. Let's do a let's do a triple broadhead for a three blade first. Uh, I get a get a three. What you do is you you take your your blade wrench. Usually you got a plastic wrench there, and you tighten those suckers down. A little bit. Use the compressor in the background, a uh, noisy bastard. Anyway, you get those things cinched down pretty good and tight. Alright, now if you can see, let's see, can you see over here? Okay. Alright, all I'm doing is I just take a nail, eight, an eight penny nail. I just drive that sucker into the bin. And I take my, here, let me uh, spin this just up first, all right. Then I take my arrow, and I just keep the cock, snap it right on the, you see the, I just take the, take the arrow knot, and just snap it right on the nail. Okay, that keeps these things going here. Now, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to zoom in here, so you can see what I'm doing. Zoom. All right. You see how this? I've, I've tightened this thing down, and see how it's all it's cocked here. What I do is I just I just heat this sucker up. Of course, this doesn't work with a shit if you put a pot you use epoxy on it. sucker until it is laying laying down flat. These things will all, so the knock, every time you knock them, you adjust them all the same. So they're just like a, just like a jet, like a jet engine taking off with the wings. That's the way I like to, I like to shoot my, shoot my broadheads to where they're taking off just like this. Just like a jet. I want them flat. So that's how I do them. Now when I'm doing a, well, I gotta let that that one cool down here. Yeah, I screwed that now. I want to screw that. Another thing too is you want to twist those things in the same direction. You're tightening it, so you just twist it over there, and they're all the same. Okay, now the same principle on the on the broadheads uh, on the uh, when you have your uh, your single blade broadheads is the same thing. What I do is I. You can adjust them any way you want to. You can adjust them going straight up. I like them going sideways to where they come back and they clear my hand. I like to keep them sideways there. And then you do the same thing. Just snap those, snap those things. Snap it on a nail. Heat it, tighten it up, and then 
since we have a, you know, we could probably do that. We can do one here. Same thing. Okay, I got that sucker tight on there. I just snap it on the knot. the blood head a little bit too if it helps so you don't have to get so much heat on, on your arrow itself you need to kind of generate now watch watch yeah, just lay it down all by itself okay now after you got it down you just adjust it just a fuzz more just like that and it's absolutely the same with your knocking point. Okay, zoom back out. Uh, if I can find a zoom button. Where's my zoom button? There we go. Alright. Uh, now I got it all screwed up here. You can see where I've got my my arrow is snapped on the nail. Snap it on the nail. Another thing you want to do is put something down so you don't burn up your table with it. Yeah, no, we'll just take a piece of wood or whatnot. It's pretty basic. Just stick a nail in there, line everything up, and heat it up and go. So, anyway, nothing fancy, just a little trick.